Jewish media, black media. Hey, Shalom. Wong. It's your brother Dan Allah, and I'm back with a breakdown of the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, and um, as I have on the screen here, I kind of want to go into this uh, topic of Kanye West. And uh, forgive me for the background wind. I'm kind of walking right quick. But um, without further ado, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Wukakadash. All right, for giving me the inspiration to do this video. Salutations to the brothers and sisters that magnify this truth from the four corners of the earth, and they have given their bodies as a living sacrifice. And also, I want to give double honors to the elders over at Great Millstone for teaching this word and sincerity and truth. All right, and um, I want to uh, go into this video. All right, now, uh, Kanye West been getting the, uh, the, 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 the end of the stick lately, all right, from different uh, various of celebrities because of a statement he made, all right? And he mentioned that, um, you know, there's no way he could be anti-Semitic because he is a Semitic man, which is very true, all right? And, um... Pretty much, I want to uh, touch on the fact that, you know, he also mentioned that, um, you know, the so-called Jewish man, he he runs the uh, media, all right? He's controlling, all right, um, you know, what's being put out on television, on the radio, and um, social media platforms. All right, from uh, your top celebrities. Okay. So uh, let's let's get into this video. Trauma culture, trauma economy, the stuff that Charlemagne the God works for, the stuff that Rosenberg works for, the stuff that academics, the guys, the academics. You got to understand all these people that y'all listening to out here. I'm gonna tell y'all, they're getting their checks cut. You know. And y'all, I need y'all to... And really quick, I wanted to touch on that. Um, he mentioned that uh, all of these people, you know, that won't interview him. All right. Or uh, pretty much, uh, you know, there are certain celebrities that won't deal with Kanye West because of fear of having their checks cut. All right. Because these record labels, all right, I ran again by the Jewish, by the Jewish man. All right. And um, you know what Kanye doing is he's uh he's, he's speaking the truth. Because all right, uh, being anti-Semitic, all right, to the world is when you have mean things to say about these Jewish people. All right, or you're talking rhetoric against them. But in actuality, if we're the real Jews and we're, we're a Semitic people, when we listen to, all right, uh, gang banging, dope selling, prostituting our women over music, all right, that's right there. That is the definition of uh, real anti-Semitic. All right, well, let's continue on. Really respect what I'm doing, the stuff that I'm doing, and I'm saying online, and love the fact. Look, I got, I got money, I got my songs. I could go off and just go to, you know, Hawaii and live a nice life. That means that God has called me to sacrifice all of that in order to bring the truth. That's what I'm saying. They don't cut my check. All right. So he mentioned that they don't cut his check because Kanye West is a billionaire now. So he's taking his platform, all right, and he's using it in a positive manner, which he should, which he should be doing, all right. He said a couple of things, all right, that's uh, I may not agree with, but you know, at the end of the day, he is putting uh, the truth out. So, uh, 
what I want to do is I want to um, I want to pull up Jeremiah chapter 17 right and we're going to deal with you know uh, some classics alright this is Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4 it says and thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thy inheritance that I gave thee right man we are we as a people have just continued all right because here it is it's 2022 going into 2023 and we have Kanye West letting us know that you know we are the Jews and the whole world is calling them crazy man okay because you know everyone's used to being black a nigga all right and everything up under the sun but an Israelite man all right it says, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. Right, man. And you have these celebrities who serve their enemy. All right. And they're scared to take a pay cut. All right. So they will be the modern day uh, house niggas. All right. Because they're scared of what massa will do to them. All right. It says, um. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. All right? Because of our wrong, wrongdoing against the Lord, we kindled a fire in his anger, man. All right? And we're still paying for it today. But we can see that with all of the stuff happening in the world, all right? And, uh, and everyone's waking up. The Most High is getting ready to turn the tables now, man. We getting ready to go home. All right? Psalms chapter uh, 82, 83, verse, uh, all right, let's start here at verse 3. It says, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. You see that? All right. That's crafty counsel when they sponsor the black on black killing and drug dealing and all that stuff that these artists, you know, they're, they're signed under these record labels to talk about. All right? That's crafty counsel. Because, it's, you know, it's a form of entertainment, but at the same time, it's influencing our people to continue to, to, uh, to, 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 you know, to stay in wickedness, man. All right? This is uh, verse 4. It says, They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel be no more in remembrance. All right, so the name of Israel isn't in, in remembrance because when you're when you, when you when you tell someone that you're a Jew or you're an Israelite, they find you to be crazy, man. All right, just like how they're painting uh, Kanye West in the in the media today, right? Because like the scriptures say. That the name of Israel should be no more in remembrance. Alright, so it's a blessing if you and it's truth and you're able to, you know, have the name of the Lord. And on the base level, just know that you're an Israelite, man. It's a blessing to know that because the rest of the world don't. Isaiah 25 and 7 it says, And I will destroy this mountain. The face of the covering cast of all the people. And that more mountain is going into what? All right? The government. Okay, they cover and put a veil over all the nation's eyes. So they're all walking around with bywords and proverbs. They don't no one know who they are. Well, and biblically, all right, they don't know who they are, a lot of these nations. Okay, because of the so-called white man. Okay, it says, and the veil that has that is spread over the nation. And the Most High allowed that to happen, okay, because of the disobedience with Israel. But again, as we see, there's more and more celebrities that's getting ready to speak out. Okay, so this is how we know that we in the end. We see the signs of the times, all right, and we see a massive breakout, all right. So I just wanted to touch on that and share that with, with you guys. All right, so with that, 
All right, I'm going to say, Shalom.